Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question here from a fellow boater. Um, so this a boater is asking us and tells us he's got an engine that has its own starter battery. In addition, he has a house battery made of two batteries. But you know what, it doesn't matter if the house battery is two or 10, it's a house battery bank. The only source of charge for my house battery is shore power. That means that his alternator, right, on his boat is not connected directly to his house battery, it's connected to his engine battery, as you would expect on most boats. He says later on, he adds, I've considered battery combiners and also battery isolators, but cannot decide which one is best for me. All right, so that's a tough question, you know, and that's one of the dilemmas. Remember, this is the fun part of having a boat and this is the bad part of the boat. The fun part is you get to make decisions, the bad part is you get to make decisions. So if you've got an alternator and it's not an outboard, right and you've got a, an engine an inboard engine and you have an alternator connected to the starter post which is in turn connected to your engine battery how do you share that charge with your house battery the easiest thing to do especially in this situation because you don't have a very big mismatch of different battery bank sizes is probably to consider a battery combiner battery combiner is going to go from battery to battery and whenever the engine battery has what's considered a charging voltage so assuming this is a 12 volt system, around 13.3 volts, 13.4 volts, it's gonna basically parallel automatically the engine battery with the house battery. And so a battery combiner is pretty easy to install. Trick is, and there's a lot of gotchas, and we've got YouTube videos on the gotchas, is that it has to be connected to the unswitched distribution of both batteries. We've got videos on unswitched distribution if you're curious, and I've got diagrams as well and conceptual diagrams on that, but it's very essential. Do not take a shortcut here because you will be in a world of hurt. So important, battery combiner from engine battery directly to house battery. Of course, it needs to be fused. Of course, it needs to be the right amperage. The battery combiner also needs to be the right amperage. As you remember what we said earlier, nothing's easy. If you want easy, you're not going to be on a boat, okay? But that's what I would do in instance, because the two batteries are very similar size, I would put a battery combiner and not a battery isolator in this instance. Everyone, thanks for watching and post your questions down below and we're going to answer them as quickly as we can. Thank you.